We said in the last video that one of the main reasons why people lie is because they are afraid of something. Fear of losing a benefit, fear of embarrassment, or fear of being punished, fear of the other person's reaction to the truth. In short, fear is one of the main drivers of lies and liars. There are other drivers, which we'll talk about in the next videos, but today we'll focus on this one, fear. It seems that everybody lies, doesn't it? Yes, lying is very common because fear is common to all human beings. Fear is one of the most primal feelings of human beings. There isn't one person in the world who isn't afraid of something. And fear is good sometimes because it helps us to stay safe. For example, it is highly unlikely that someone who is afraid of heights will die someday because he fell off a building. That fear of heights causes the person to avoid, to stay away from situations where she might fall from a height. So that kind of fear is good. But there is also a bad kind of fear, and that's the one that drives a person to lie. So if someone is used, used to lying and wants to stop, the first thing that person must do is find out what fear is driving her to lie. What does she fear? Who does she fear? And why? For example, a husband lies to his wife about why he came home late. Why did he lie? Of course, if he's cheating on his wife or doing something he should not do, his fear is obvious. He's afraid of getting caught and then having to face the consequences. But sometimes a husband may lie even without having done anything wrong, but simply because he fears the reaction of his suspicious wife, for example. So he makes up a story to avoid that confrontation. Of course, none of these cases makes lying the right thing to do, but you see that in both cases, the motivation to lie is what? Is fear. And because the husband does not know what to do to overcome that fear, so he lies. Knowing this is important to you also who deal with a liar. Usually people get angry when they are lied to, and with very good reason. But they do not understand why that person lies. If you understand what's behind the lies of a liar, then you can do your part and help him overcome this problem. Usually, a person who lies does not want to lie, does not enjoy lying. But his problem is he does not know what to do in a situation instead of lying. Or maybe he does know, but he doesn't have the strength to do it. So, in summary, to stop lying, the person needs to identify the fear that motivates the lie, and then he has to develop enough courage to overcome that fear and therefore not lie, but do what is right instead. So then comes the question, how to develop this courage? And how can I, how can someone who deals with a liar help that person lie, uh, stop lying? That's what we'll talk about in our next video. Until next week, thank you for watching and God bless you.